Hi, my name's Liam. I play in a band called The Perfect Trend. I'm Peter. I play in his band. Well, we drove here. It was pretty awesome. He wanted to listen to this band called The Pit. <laughs> They're a good band. Yeah, well, we met them in Kelowna when we did our last tour with Ninja Spy, and they're, they're not very good, but I love them. They're great guys. We just don't really like their music. We got a good live show. They just unfortunately doesn't come off good on their recordings, but I, I, I remember like the live show, and so does Phil, our lights guy, a.k.a. also wants this mag dream. I feel like an eagle now. I met Liam and Cameron about four years ago, and they just recently lost their bass player, so I filled in bass for them. And yeah, we were a three-piece since like beginning of 2006, end of 2005, and uh, then in 2008 we got a fourth guy, and since then we've been a fourth, uh, like a four-piece, and it's been pretty well, like the sound. Okay, uh, so... It was beautiful. That's not answering the question, <laughs> I know. Uh, our, our name came from uh, the type of scene that we were in in Nanaimo when we started. Uh, there was this, like, spazcore type of trend going on, and we were blatantly not that. We had a lot of melody in our music, and we just felt like a good name for our band would be the perfect trend, because... Really, that just symbolizes the fact that it's just the music you like to play, no matter what period you're in. If it makes you happy, that's the best trend. Um, because there, it's, it's, it's kind so of a good. Cool. It's pretty much even. Yeah, it's like I like being in Nanaimo. Like I know, like there's more bands here in Victoria and stuff. But it's kind of nice to be in Nanaimo because we have a smaller scene, but it's really tight knit, and um, it's a good community. And we have some really good like promoters there, and we're we're lucky to have like all ages shows and bar shows quite a bit. And we just hang with our friends, and there's no drama, and life is good. Well, other than the drunk teenagers. Oh, uh, the drunk teenagers. Yeah, that sucks. But you guys have that too, so there you go. This year alone, uh, we did a Western Canada tour out to Winnipeg and back. That was about two and a bit weeks. It was cold. It was really cold. A good experience, though. Had some, made some really good friends, good contacts. Came back, did a few island shows, and then went right back out in May. Did 11 shows in 11 days with this band called Ninja Spy from Vancouver. and it was, Awesome. They were awesome, yeah. They're amazing guys. And that also was a really good experience. So... Uh, been fun with tour with old Sequoia and Throne. <laughs> Thing still works. May I add, you got you should check out Ninja Spy. They're an amazing band. If you haven't seen them, check them out, please. They played uh, Taste of Chaos in Calgary. That's how good they are. Our uh, drummer did everything. Yeah, everything. basically, our drummer and our friend Amy, who sort of like a street team person at times. Mm -hmm. They started the year off giving a digital promo kit to uh, the sponsor of Warp Tour called Earn It Yourself. And they allow for one local band at each show in each area to play. And they choose it based on the recent touring you've done, the type of recordings you have, and your following. And that was at the beginning of the year, and we didn't hear until May uh, we got chosen to play. On the Kevin says stage, so that's a lot of fun. It was awesome. Yeah, we I got a phone call at work, and then Liam work? came here to my work. It was like, dude, did you hear the news? I'm like, yeah. I'm like so excited. We started guys. hugging each other, which again, oh, it was, then people it was thought quite, we were gay. It was quite the shock. I was all down was that day, and then off. when I heard from my drummer, he called me at work. He's like, dude, guess what? I'm like, what? We're playing Warped. I'm like, you're fucking shitting me, aren't you? He's like, no, I'm not shitting you. We played on. We're playing Warped tour this year. I'm like, oh my god. It's really nice too, cause like. Um, there's not, like, barely any island bands playing. Like, Except for the set. Yeah, the set, and that's cool for them, too. So I'm excited to play with them, and, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of our friends are already stoked. It's just going to be one big party, just celebrating independent music on the island in, in British Columbia. Um, I think 
just to make a good recording. Yeah, it's really funny, like, if you ask any type of band that, like, you know, tours and stuff like that, well, they can have the best live show, but if they don't have really good recordings that kind of capture their sound, uh, it's really hard to go anywhere. So we were just trying to make a good, solid recording of our favorite songs that we were playing and had written, uh, and just kind of have it so that when people listen to a CD, they can kind of picture who we are and get a really good representation of our music. And I think we did that. And Adam was really good with us because we had never really been in a professional studio like that. Like our, our self-titled recording was made in Nanaimo at a smaller studio. So this was a nice hey, step up. It was decent. Yeah, I was really... Our, our second CD was decent. And then our third pretty. recording was more technical than the others so yeah and then so we'll, we'll looks like we'll be going back with him again to do a full length like the, in the winter time once we're done our fall tour can't wait to work with him again and put out some more new music